This time we'll take a look at the import model block definition and model block instance components. We will also talk about importing and inserting and embedding and linking, which are important to understand when importing blocks. Both components can be found in the Rhino tab in the model section. Import model block definition has four inputs and one output. It needs a file path to the 3dm file from which it's going to import the model and an update type. The update types are embedded, embedded and linked and linked. Here are the update types explained when working with blocks. If you embed, means that you will insert the geometry to the current file, but it will not update if you change the source file. Linking means that you need to have the source file or the geometry will disappear. If you combine the two, you will get a geometry that will update if the source file changes, but if you accidentally delete the source, you will not lose the geometry. Block definition needs a name, and there is also a boolean value for importing. As a result, you will get the block definition. Now it is important to notice that the name of the component is import model block definition. The model block instance component is used to manage the block instances or move them in the Rhino space. It has three passing through inputs and outputs, block instance, a transformation and the block definition to use for the instance. Let's get to examples. Here I have two instances of Rhino open. On the left I have a source file and on the right I have a target file. I have created some block definitions in the source file. I have a chair, a round chair, a dining set and a table. If you were to use the import model block definition intuitively, you might think that it works like this. You would select the source file path, the update type you want, and let's say you want to import the round chair from the source file. So you would select the chair round name and set the import to be true. Now it says that you get a model block definition chair round. Then you would want to insert these round chairs to the target file. You would create some kind of way to orient the planes that you want to get the transformations and then you would connect the block definition to the model block instance component. Now I'm getting a block instance, but something seems to be wrong. I am not getting the round chair that I was looking for, but instead I am getting everything from the source file. This is because importing means to merge all objects from the file into the current model and inserting means to insert block objects stored in the file or import an external file. So when I'm importing here, I'm getting all the geometry from the source file and naming that geometry chair round and that becomes my new block definition called chair round. Now this is not what we were looking for. We wanted to insert the chair round to the target file. To do this, we want to use the import content. Get the file path and set the import to true and then get the block definitions from the source file. Now if we were to cache this or we're gonna bake this now, we see that the block definitions appear on the target file as well. We can now, for example, use a list item or some of the new filtering components to select the block definition that we wanted. Now I am getting the round chair that I was looking for. I can then use the same model block instance component to change the definition in the target planes. 
Another way to do this is to use the insert block component from Elefront. If you want to use the Elefront method, you cannot use the model block definitions. Instead, you need to get the block definition name as a text input.